spirit of praise. Put your hands together for our drama team with a skit called Mother, Why? Just finding this will. Oh, just can't be real at all. Gee, let me take this a little heavy trip. Okay. <clears throat> Last will and testament of Bishop Adam. Nobleman. What? Jeez. What is it? Say hello to you too. I guess you did not find any copies of your late husband's will. <laughs> Actually, I did. What do you want? Just checking up on my sister and the Lord, and I'm kind of glad I did. You don't sound so good. My sister, our fear is distraught. So distraught. Ah, oh, my God, uh, I, I don't like what I'm seeing. Oh, God. Mm -mm. No. Oh. Girl, it has only been one month since your husband died. You won't oh. feel that way for a long time. Listen to me. I feel nothing except for cheated again. I should have made sure that man peacefully rested in pieces. You hear me? Mm. It is clear that your eyes do not like what you saw in that wheel. Anyway, you don't worry about that. I will be making some corrections to this here wheel. Now the Bible says, do not add and do not take away from anything. <laughs> the Bible also says that I should not let my left hand know what my right hand is doing. <laughs> <laughs> left hand be gone. <laughs> no, she did not just hang up on me. I hope he left you more than unable, old witch. <laughs> Finish me this erroneous assistant pastor. Not me. I toil in this ministry, honey. I'm going to be the pastor. Fine. To my first son, August. That crackhead can't handle all that money. Uh uh. Anyway, to my grandson, AJ. Now, you see what I told you about this man? Now he's gonna leave a little boy more money than his own wife. Yeah. Anyway, finally, the son of my heart, Alexander, what can I give him? $1.5 billion. <sighs> okay, calm down, Althea. <sighs> Gonna buy you your first law firm? Oh, the state lawyer? What? I have decided for you to be the presiding pastor. 
has mentioned before, your stepmother. For years, that wicked man, I played the forgiving wife and accepting stepmother only for this to happen to me. Oh, Althea, oh, Althea, oh, oh, Althea, you have suffered. And I ain't taking it no more. <laughs> Alexander Wright Nobleman, I will rip you to pieces if it's the last thing I do. Your home wrecker? Put this up. Can't see this. Look at something. Who can find a virtuous woman? Well, For her price is far above rubies. Blessed is the man who finds such a woman, and happy are the children who are privileged to call her mom. Well, pray for one pastor of the nobleman, for she is the epitome of what a virtuous woman should never be. Troublesome, rebellious, unsubmissive, unforgiving, a tyrant, hateful and selfish. Althea has gone into an emotional frenzy after the passing of her husband, Bishop Adam Nobleman. As a matter of fact, she's gone completely mad and for obvious reasons. She has been bamboozled out of her return, given her lifelong investment, tolerating a so-called holy practicing man of God who turned out to be a cheat. Ah, come on. I know some of you are thinking, hell has no fury like a woman scorned. But how would you feel if you had to raise the son of a homewrecker who supposedly shattered your home and then go on as if nothing happened? What after all that's said and done, the same son is given the one thing you managed to secure your self of worth that kept your sanity intact. I would say she's well within her rights. Or is she? Hmm. Let's see. A struggling addict whose reckless behavior have inflicted such chaos and pain over the years. Yet Madame Altman could never forgive the one mistake her husband made. Oh yes, she assumed the role of pastor. But one could hardly agree that this abusive leader was called after God's own heart. A great preacher, at least to the itchy ear, since they could hardly tell whether her sermons were true or twisted. A prophet in her own right, having a keen eye for seeing the good, the bad, and the ugly in everyone except herself. Bitterness runs through the vein of this wounded woman. Hurt and resentment has fluid the vengeance buried deep in her soul, like a wildfire. She's on an unpredictable path, consuming everything and anyone in her way. For Althea Nobleman, virtue has gone completely out the window.
<laughs> well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. All right. Welcome to He Who Sits on the Throne Ministries. <laughs> a place where God reigns, rules, and rests. Amen. Uh, if you believe in that, can you raise your highest prayer? Thank you. All right. All right, so it looks like we're having, ready to have some church. Yeah. Amen. Uh, without further ado, I want my brother August to come and testify of God's goodness and glory. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise, Praise the Lord. God is so good. Yes, it is. For 10 years, I was a prisoner because of my bad choices. Uh -huh. But thank God today, I'm a prisoner for God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody to give my brother uh, a clap. Amen. 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 All right. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start church here. All right. Where is... Uh, excuse me. What's going on? <laughs> having some church without the pastor? You out of order. I'm just trying to keep the flow of the spirit. The flow of the spirit. <laughs> the Bible says that the spirit is subject to the prophet. There's no flow unless I'm here. You know what? You trying to run my church. Come off my door. Sorry, ma'am. And I know you see me in my element. Sorry, Pastor Althea. Sorry. What's going on? <laughs> Why are you two out of place? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that thing she said about the spirit. That ain't in the Bible. Uh -huh. Where she get that from? The Bible said the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet. She think be later. Where she get that from? Well, then you go ahead and correct that. <laughs> we love my life. <laughs> yeah, you, you better love your life and your position too, because you know she quick to sit people down like if she was the one that anointed them. Do <laughs> <laughs> it. Y'all know what to do. Lead the way. One is front, one is back. Yes. I want. <laughs> Teach them. <laughs> so I see when the shepherd is away. Y'all remember like to invite the devil over the plane. <laughs> now, all this out of all the nonsense in my church is being put to rest right now. Yeah. Just like your late bishop. I'm setting things in order now. Yeah. Starting with them two over there. Uh -oh. Why are you late? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Excuse me, Pastor. We were called here to work, but we're here on official duty. To do what? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, Minister Alexander Wright Nobleman. Yes, sir. We must take you in for questioning. We suspect that you have been pushing drugs. Oh, oh what? Hey, hey, hold on now. <coughs> what did you just say? My brother do so much for this community. And you want to ruin his reputation with these lies? It's okay, brother. I I'll go. I'll go in peace. No, officer, please don't take my dad away. He smells oh. like smoke. Oh. You're at my grandma's house. It always smells like smoke. <laughs> 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 Officers, we can go. Before destruction. <laughs> y'all don't mean to say to none of y'all. Y'all a bunch of fools. Mm. Y'all were just about to allow a pusher to push you into the flow of the spirit. Well. See it there? Mm. 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 Y'all ain't got no discernment. 
Y'all can't even feel the evil lurking around you. And then this one trying to catch an attitude with me because I'm trying to protect your best interests. Anyway, like the Lord, I am merciful and slow to anger. <laughs> so I have decided to call a solemn fast. Tonight, no eating, no drinking, just praying and fasting until tomorrow because it's going to be a big day. You are dismissed. I said, ah, you're dismissed. Oh, God. Hush, hush, minister. Uh, uh, sir, August, where are you going? With who? I don't want that little pushing spirit in my house. Take that little boy home to his mama. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, little boy? What did you just say? Because I realized that evil communication disrupts good manners. But that's okay. So you planted angel debris in this briefcase and had me drop it off to so I could look like the guilty one. Let me tell you something, just in case you don't know. I have a copy of your father's will. He left you with nothing. He left me with more nothing. <laughs> and willed everything to your younger brother. But anyway, I was trying to protect your best interest. You wouldn't understand. Uh, you would not understand anything from your loving mother. But that's all right. And yes, you a pusher. So whatever. And I see you still have your little nasty habits going. Oh, you make me sick. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Look at the one who has been delivered transformed and set free from angel debris. <laughs> Guess what, that spirit's still on you. And it's gonna stay on you, no matter what you do. I guarantee it. Let me go to my bed, please. No, Moss, I'm not done with you. Ooh. Oh, yes. How dare you touch me like that? <laughs> What is it that you have to say to me? <clears throat> Why you disturbed me from going to my bed? Cat got your tongue now? Oh, oh, you're not gonna go back into that habit anymore? You been that delivered? You're not going back into that habit? Anyway, let me tell you something. The next time you put your hand on me, it's gonna be on me. I'm not taking this disrespectful spirit that you got. As a matter of fact, I ought to slap it. Don't even try it. Because if your hand offends me, I'll cut it off. Oh. Whoa. Tell it, brother. Tell it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no problem. I wonder why she's always hiding in this safe. 
must be hiding something. Hmm? Oh, oh! Isa! I'm wet! Sanctuary, we have a guest speaker coming this morning. And when you're done, please join me in prayer. You know she's guilty, right? Mira, esa mujer es una ladrona, una vendedroga, es una drogadita. Let me tell you, the sins multiply over and over and over and over. You remember what the little boy said? Him smell smoke at the past house. Yes. yes. I chew my talk. <laughs> One time I in Scotter, I smell weed for her. Mm. So me ask her where she said incense. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? I was in the world before my church. Well, then expose her in front of everybody. Oh, me afraid her. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Psalms 27 says the Lord is a bright light. What are you afraid of? You see the two big boys here? And she's afraid of them? <laughs> no, I'm not she mash me down like a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Make God angle her. Welcome, welcome. Please come take a seat. <laughs> The spirit is hot in here. <laughs> hey! Hot glory. I need, I need y'all to hear me real good. Oh, it's not on. Anyway. <laughs> oh, see one right here. Thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. I see that my ushers are out of place. Now that order has been established, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Amen. My God, the devil is on the attack. Attendance at an all-time low. But God is still here. Amen. I said God is still here. Amen. And that is paramount. This is a little bit untraditional, but I am led to call the man of God at this time to deposit in us what God has deposited in him. Let us put our hands together for Prophet Nathan Bain. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wait, man of God, wait. All right, now. All right. There's an enemy in this camp. Yes. Oh, yes. And we need to expose this enemy. Yes. Officers? <laughs> There she is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. After so many years me being in this church, I'm gonna go to jail now? Wait a minute, something is wrong here. Wait, 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 officers, not her. I mean, what do you think, Blue? She looks harmless. Well, for sheep's clothing. So we should arrest Papa Alfio? Uh, 
know what the Bible says. That's not that I know it. You know, probably no harm. So, I mean, what if she's guilty? The law is for the law. But we gotta have proof. Check the bother. Check the bother. Pass the audio no one. Put your bag on the floor and your hands in the air. Now. Alexander, you did nothing except exist. Oh my gosh. And for 40 years, you were the memory that I wanted to get rid of. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My God. Your father hurt me so bad. It was better that I just left him because I could not forgive his betrayal. But I thought that eventually the end would have justified the means. If it's any consolation, I truly am sorry that you were the victim of my wrath. God. A wise woman builds her home with love and peace. But you, Mom, decided to destroy her from top to bottom. Yes, she Ruining your marriage, took 10 years of my life away from being your little push boy, and now this? Where's your sister? My brother. Kind of that's a blessing that this woman is not your blood money. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. I have issues, okay? <laughs> so does everybody, but that does not give you the right to talk to your mother like this. My mother is the woman who honored God through love and service. Yes. But you, Mom, you're not that woman. Oh, Jesus. You're a curse. Oh. oh. <laughs> My sons, please. Your mother is damaged, and because of that, she has destroyed so many good things and is about to self-destruct, but she can be repaired. Woman, to be humble and call on God, for he is faithful and just to forgive you and clean you up. Oh, I 
feel my help coming on. The Spirit of the Lord is on me. He has anointed me to declare good news to the poor and sent me to fix the brokenhearted. Raise your hands. For so long, your sins held you hostage. But today, you are free and have been released from that dark prison. No more crying. The Lord has provided all that you would ever need. You are now in the year of the Lord's favor and justice has been served. Instead of sadness, you now have an abundance of joy for he has clothed you with the garment of praise. The spirit of hopelessness has been evicted. You have now been classed as a righteous seed because the Lord has decorated you to show the world his glory through your life. God has spoken through his servant and his word has been sealed. Amen. 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 Oh God. God, I thank you for your word. And I thank you, God, for my seed that you gave me. My seeds that have blossomed into great men. Men of God. Oh, I thank you, God. Please forgive your mother's sons, my sons, please forgive me for not being that mother that you so deserve. Grandma, are you in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. If anything, we have a very good Lord in this family. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Is the floor going?